So the last point that we're going to look at um, is at the end of our elastic range. Uh, so the end of our elastic range is going to happen when either our steel yields or our concrete behavior uh, goes uh, inelastic and starts to curve off. Um, so the first point we can say is uh, when our steel yields. Uh, so when our steel yields, we know that our yield stress will be equal to our uh, modulus times our strain, which will be equal to our yield curvature times d minus kd times our modulus. So we can solve for our yield curvature, find our yield curvature to be Fy divided by d minus kd times Es. Uh, we can then find our yield moment equal to our yield curvature times EC times I cracked transformed. So the other point that may be a concern is the point when our concrete goes inelastic. So when our concrete stress is uh, equal to 0.7 F prime C. So at this point, we'll, uh, we can do the same math as above. So we'll have our F C equal to 0.7 F prime C uh, equal to um, E C times epsilon C, which is equal to our uh, curvature at 0.7 times K D times E C. We can solve for our curvature divided by KD times EC and then we can also solve for our moment. Times phi point or uh, phi of point seven times E C times our I cracked transformed. Um, so We'll be able to see whether our steel or our concrete goes in elastic first by seeing um, whether our um, moment of, of 0.7 or, or our yield moment um, is greater. So the, uh, the lesser of those moments is the one that will cause um, our beam to go in elastic first. Um, so this will be the end of our inelastic range. Uh, after this, we'll start to curve off and we'll uh, be looking at uh, the ultimate behavior of our section next.